Agnieszka Leszczyńska, country manager Angelini Pharma Polska and Mr. Aldo Amati, ambassador of Italy to Poland are joining us today. And that's on the occasion of the conference hosted by Italian embassy, Poland, Italy building bridges in pharma industry. Agnieszka, Mr. Ambassador, I'm honored and it's good to have you both here. In Poland, in the field of business, when we say Italy, we think Fiat. Maybe because uh, the presence of this automotive giant in our country has been uninterrupted for over a hundred years. But that's a simplification, of course. And nowadays, uh, there are lots of Italian companies in Poland uh, employing almost 100,000 Poles. Mr. Ambassador, you host the conference Poland Italy Building Bridges. What's the purpose behind it? And are there still new bridges to be built? Well, of course, of course. This pharmaceutical section, you know, it's uh, very much this time concentrated on, on the farms and the different problems in, the, in these fields. But we're looking forward to organizing also something about uh, biotechnology and uh, biochemicals. Uh, so we think that this cooperation in these fields, they have a, a huge prospect. Also because I understand there's a complementarity between the industries of both countries. Angelini Pharma is today a global organization and yet very Italian in its roots and origins. Uh, Agnieszka, are there any bridges to be built in this Polish-Italian cooperation within your, within your company? I have to say that right now Angelini Pharma Polska is a very Italian company. And why? Actually, um, Angelini Pharma came to Poland 2004, but um, came as a company friendly to cover an Austrian company, Medagro International. But the growth and the business that Medagro International built was on Angelini's product. Because um, Angelini is not only the producer, but it's the inventor. So. Um, um, we are selling benzidamine since 1997 um, in Poland. Of course, this is Tantum Verde. We are selling uh, Trazodon uh, from 2003. This is, uh, this is, of course, Tritico. So um, they were there before being there, actually. But um, right now, we as um, Angelini Pharma Polska, we think about ourselves as a um, family corporation. Why? Because of the Angelini origins. So that was Francesco Angelini in 1919, who started the business in a small pharmacy and was really taking care of the people, of the patients, and we try to do the same right now. So we do care about the people, we do care about the patients, our atmosphere, we want to continue this atmosphere from 100 or even more years ago. On the other hand, we are, um, as all other um, Italian companies that were growing within the 20th century and 21st century, we are modern, we are international, we are um, really up to date. Uh, but, but, and this is very important, we still produce um, the molecules and the products in Italy and they are coming back to Poland. So, um, yes, I would say that there are lots of lots of bridges. We want to build the last one. We're still trying because this is this, you know, elegant flavor that Italians are giving us in fashion. Um, in closing, and um, we are um, we really look forward to to acquiring this as well. So I think we all can agree that this we can say Italian features and rich Polish companies. Yes, of course. <laughs> Mr. Ambassador, you have decided to dedicate this today's session uh, promoting building dialogue between Polish and Italian pharma business. Do you expect any specific initiatives from this session or it's rather about bringing Poles closer to Italian optics and vice versa? Well, yes, absolutely, yes. I, I was talking before with uh, Mr. Sierpinski 
And we agreed that uh, at the end of June, beginning of July, we're going to have a, a, a different meeting in, in, in Italy this time, where our Italian companies will be there, hopefully in presence. And uh, there will be Sierpinski accompanied by some uh, Polish companies as well. So I, I, I look forward to, you know, to continue in this field because I think there's a high potential to, to do things together. As, as it is clear, the European markets must develop. We learned the lesson from the pandemic and then we, we must act together, not only Italy and Poland, but the whole Europe. Agnieszka, and what do you expect for Angelini Pharma Polska from this meeting? Were you inspired by the topics covered during this session? And what are the next steps for Angelini Pharma Polska created by this Polish-Italian bridge? Well, I think it's... Um... First of all, it's good to know what the situation is. And um, um, first, there were tools presented, um, f um, state tools for, uh, for development of uh, um, um, pharmaceutical industry. I think it's important to know, to understand and to, to foresee it. Um, secondly, there were about challenges. We have lots of challenges um, in Europe. Uh, with the uh, with the security of drugs, um, um, with the with the production of APIs, so um, I think it's very important that we talk, that we establish certain rules. There is also um, a, a very special aspect for Angelini Pharma Polska. We have just signed the um, the agreement with um, 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 a medical research agency. Um, to have projects, um, um, public and private um, um, equity, uh, to work towards a um, better future for our patients, better technology, um, using new methods. So, um, and at the end, this is where we talk afterwards. Um, this is the opportunity that, that w we have rare opportunities as uh, country managers and general managers to meet other companies, to, to talk, to exchange knowledge, to exchange visions, to build um, common projects together. So um, I think it's a, it's a very useful initiative. And here, Mr. Ambassador, I would like to thank you for uh, for the invitation. Thank it you, was it you. was uh, it was our pleasure, and um, we'll make a good use of this.